And on a related note, Pasco County crews are opening and closing floodgates and using large pumps to move the water along. Still, it may be weeks before some homes dry out or longer if we get some more rain. One Pasco County man is not waiting for help, though. He is taking action on his own to save his house. Jeff Patterson continues our team coverage. He joins us now from Pasco County. Hey, good evening, Keith. You know, some people use sandbags to try to prevent water from coming into their home. James Gohagan is using truckloads of dirt to save his house. Trucks were lined up in front of James Gohagan's home today. So far, at least 10 truckloads of dirt dumped into his front yard. We're just trying to get the water away from my house. The water started coming up here more than a week ago. This was pasture land. The rising water has turned his pasture into a lake. Within a week, it's only received like seven, eight inches in my yard. Today, Pasco County here. officials they showed us what they are trying to do to help Pasco Gohagan County, and his small. neighbors. Pumping water from a wetlands marsh into one lake and into another. The natural water flow is from west to east, and we're trying to reverse that pattern from east to west to help the people in the Cranes Roost area. One six-inch pump here pushing water a mile uphill to a retention pond, trying to drain the area in Crane's Roost, which is where James Gohagan lives. It's not a permanent solution, but it's, it's, it's what we can do right now during these emergency situations to try to reverse the water flow and get some people in Crane's Roost area uh, some help. Gohagan believes the flooding here is caused by new development in the area. I think the shopping center, I think we've been impacted. All this development around here. You know, I was in this neighborhood about a week ago, standing in water above my waist. So I guess this is an improvement, but that's supposed to be pasture. That's supposed to be grass back there, not a lake. And I can tell you, after standing here for a few minutes, Stacy, they have another problem, and that's mosquitoes. Um, it's going to be something you'll have to deal with for a while here. Well, Jeff, you're just going to have to get you some off next time you go out there and do a report on that. <laughs> and hopefully yeah, the next time you go, the water will be gone, as will the mosquitoes. Thank you. Jeff Patterson, yeah. live in Pasco County.